This is Abe Freetanzer from Awards Radar, and I'm thrilled to be speaking with Eddie Marsan uh, about his role on Ray Donovan and the new Ray Donovan, the movie. How are you doing today, Eddie? Very well, Abe. How are you? I'm great. It's really nice to be able to speak with you. I've been a big fan of yours for uh, over a decade, so this is a really cool opportunity for me. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. So you last played this role about two years ago. Did you have any idea when filming wrapped on the show or an inkling maybe that there would be a follow-up of some sort? No, well, I didn't know when we finished, uh, when we finished season seven, I had no idea that it was going to end. We had, we had, uh, we were told that there were plans for season eight and there was a, a story arc and all this. So, so, every year because i live in the uk i would go home to the uk and kind of uh leave the world of ray donovan behind and then i suddenly got an email to say oh suddenly we're not renewing this the show for next season uh and then um it was lovely and it felt like a great vindication when the fans suddenly created such, such an uproar and, and and it made us feel very loved and appreciated when they demanded an end to the story, because the story did need to be uh, to be concluded, because people were so attached to these characters, they were so invested in in this family that they needed to see it concluded. I agree. I agree. And without talking too much about what happens in the movie for those who haven't seen it, uh, Terry has a relatively small role. Do you feel that his character got the closure that you wanted for him? Well, I mean, if it had been a, a, a season, he would have had a, a more of a character arc. But actually, I quite like the fact that Terry has a has a poetic storyline within the film because because Terry, uh, paradoxically, in um, in the show, is the mother figure. He's the mother. He's like the mother of the family. And as the mother of the family, I I, I love the way they created that within this within this film. That's great. And he does have so many great story arcs over the course of the show. Is there anything that stands out to you as some of the most powerful or memorable? Um, I, I loved it, the, the prison stuff. I, I loved that. But that was the first time Terry really kind of came into his own, I felt. Um, the bare knuckle fighting was, was great fun to do. I wish they would have given me more warning. I would have gotten into better shape. <laughs> um so yeah but but terry terry is a fascinating character because he's both masculine and feminine and 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 that's been the great pleasure of playing him is the contrast between the, the terry's full of contrast he's the he's the mother figure but he's he's uh tough he's also very tough but disabled so you know it's great to play a disabled character who isn't a victim do you feel that playing a disabled character is something that was received positively by fans and those who have disabilities in real life? I believe so. I mean, a lot of people who who uh, who, have, who have Parkinson's or their family members have died from Parkinson's, they contact me all the time and said how how much they appreciated it. And towards the end of the show, I, I worked with Alan, who has Parkinson's, and. Uh, it, it, he was very complimentary to me. I mean, I took I look I, I took it a great responsibility to get it right. That's all you can do really is, is try and get it right, which is what I did. Of course. And you've worked with a lot of great guest stars, and the one who immediately comes to mind for me is Brooke Smith as Frances. She's just an extraordinary access actress. What can you say about sharing scenes with her? Oh, uh, we we became very good friends, and we used to have a good laugh. Uh, our first love scene was quite nervous because we didn't know each other. By the, by the end, we giggled all the time. We just, whenever we did a love scene, that's when they brought out the hot food. Whenever, whenever I got, whenever I got naked, I suddenly you could smell frying onions, and I said, I said, look, it's not me, but I swear, because they always, it'd be the end of the day, and they'd always bring out food for the crew. So you'd be laying there naked in bed, and some guy would focus pull would come up with a hamburger in his mouth, pulling the focus. Do you have a favorite on-screen family member? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, uh, I mean, a, a dash is well. All of us are really. Uh, I'm very close to all of us, really. But 
Uh, I have a special connection with Dash. I think I think Bunchy and Terry are a lovely couple together. I agree. And uh, well, speaking of another international actor, will you miss doing your Boston accent? Uh, well, to be honest with you, um, what used to happen was I used to I used to do Ray Donovan, uh, and because Ray Donovan was very successful in the U.S. and much more successful in the U.S. and internationally than it was in the U.K., most of my work would suddenly then be uh, during the break in the U.S. And the, because the Boston accent is so unique, I would end up, <laughs> I wouldn't have time to work through any other accents. And then asked me to play a part, and I said, well, it's going to have to be Boston because I think Boston's for my <laughs> So I, I do it all the time anyway now. That's funny. And I do just have to mention two of my favorite roles of yours, Happy Go Lucky and The Disappearance of Alice Creed. Do you think, those are obviously very, very different roles, but do you think there's anything from either of those parts that you brought to Terry here? No, I don't think so. I mean, I tell you what, I tell you what, I, 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 I tell you what, playing Terry uh, on a long running show, because, because I've worked with Mike Lee and I'm very much based on researching characters, and because there was a great responsibility of, of creating, of playing a character with, with Parkinson's and doing it right, one of the things I felt which surprised me was when I played Terry. The level of understanding and uh, of the character and the embodiment of the character was very similar to the level you get after working on a show like uh, a film like Happy Go Lucky, where you you create a character for a year. So that was one thing that I really enjoyed about playing Terry was how much I could get into character. Wonderful. Well, it's been a pleasure to watch you, and. Uh... Ray Donovan, the movie premieres on Friday, January 14th on Showtime. Thank you so much, Eddie, for speaking with uh, me today. Very nice to speak to you. Thank you.